welcome back class today we will discuss about non linear pharmacokinetics so what is non linear pharmacokinetics in some cases the rate process of drug depends on carrier or enzyme that are substrate specific they have definite capacities and susceptible to saturation at high concentrations in such cases first order transforms into mixed order that is first order and followed by zero order rate process and pharmacokinetic parameters change with dose pharmacokinetics of such drugs are said to be dose dependent or mixed order or non linear capacity limit in this case uh, the rate process doesn't depend on dose initially in first order kinetics what's happening the rate process is depending on the dose and you can see uh, the linearity in the curve and in other way uh, if it's it's following zero order kinetics then rate process doesn't depend on dose even in that case you can see linearity in the graph but if non linearity exists then the dose in dose process initially depends uh, the rate process initially depends on dose that is it follows the first order then after some times when saturation occurs then the rate process stops depending on the dose that is it follows zero order so this is called as mixed order kinetics Uh, next how to detect non linearity in pharmacokinetics determination of steady state plasma concentration at different doses will help us in identifying non linearity in pharmacokinetics if steady state plasma concentration is directly proportional to the dose then linearity in kinetic exists and if steady state plasma concentration is not directly proportional to the dose then the linearity doesn't exist determination of some of the important pharmacokinetic parameters such as fractional bioavailability elimination half life or total systemic clearance at different doses of drug uh, any changes in these parameters will indicate non linearity let us see causes of non linearity first non linearity in absorption when absorption involves carrier mediated transport system example absorption of riboflavin absorption of ascorbic acid then there is a chance of non linearity when absorption is solubility or dissolution rate limited example drug grisofelvin then there is a chances of non linearity and when pre systemic gut wall or hepatic metabolism attains saturation then there is a chances of non linearity in absorption or non linearity due to absorption non linearity in drug distribution of drugs administered at high doses may be due to saturation of binding sites on the plasma proteins example in the case of naproxen and saturation of tissue binding sites example in the case of drugs like thiopentanol and uh, uh, phenytoin so we can see in distribution if protein binding sites are being saturated and if tissue binding sites are being saturated then again competitive behavior starts and dose independence occurs which leads to non linearity in metabolism capacity limited metabolism due to enzyme and cofactor saturations non linearity occurs example in drugs such as phenytoin alcohol enzyme induction occurs and in uh, drugs like carbamazepine in drug excretion active tubular secretions example penicillin g after saturation of carrier systems a decrease in renal clearance occurs and active tubular reabsorption example water soluble vitamins these factors leads to non linearity in metabolism and drug excretion non linear pharmacokinetics can be expressed by a formula minus dc by dt is equal to vmc by km plus c minus dc by dt is the rate of decline of drug concentration at given time t vm stands for theoretical maximum rate of rate rate process and km stands for michels mentons constant so this is the formula which helps us in understanding non linear pharmacokinetics in this graph you can see a graphical representation of non linearity non linearity in non competitive inhibition competitive inhibition and when there are there is no inhibition in pharmacokinetics maybe uh, so there may be three situations uh, according to formula when km can be equal to c it can be greater than c it can be less than c when km is equal to c then v max d minus dc by dt will become v max by 2 that is rate of process is equal to one half of its maximum rate and uh, the plot can be seen as shown in the figure in next case km is greater than c here minus dc by dt will become vm by km into c the above equation is identical to one that describes the first order elimination of the drug that is drug concentration in the body is below km however phenytoin and alcohol are exemptions for this kind 
uh, in next uh, scenario where uh, km is less than c under this conditions km plus c uh, will become the concentration the above equation is identical to zero order process that is rate process occurs at constant rate and vmax is independent of drug concentration example metabolism of ethanol then we will see assumptions and limitations of nonlinear pharmacokinetics. The first step in the derivation applies the law of mass of action, which is uh, related to free diffusion. However, in the environment of a living cell, where there is a high concentration of protein, the cytoplasm often behaves more like a gel than a liquid, limiting molecular movement and altering the uh, rate of reaction. Uh, in original analysis, Michael and Menton assume that the substrate is an instantaneous chemical equilibrium with the complex. Thus, combini combining these relationships with the enzyme conservation law, the concentration of complex is Es is equal to E0 S by Kd plus S. Continuing this equation, uh, uh, where uh, Kd is equal to Kr by Kf is the dissociation constant for the enzyme substrate complex. Hence, the velocity of the reaction minus the rate of uh, the rate at which the product is formed is v is equal to dp dt v max by s kd plus m where v max is equal to this mechanism the enzyme e is a catalyst which only facilitates the reaction so its total concentration free plus combined is a constant this conservation law can also be obtained by adding the second and third equations above so uh, this is the derivation uh, you can see um, of the michael Clinton constant Michael Menten kinetics have also been applied to a variety of spheres outside of biochemical reactions. Alveolar clearance of the dust from lungs, the richness of spices pools, clearance of blood alcohol, and then photosynthesis irradiation relationship and bacterial phase infections. So these are the different applications of Michael Menten constants.